Hello everyone, welcome back to Aspen Tech channel. So today we will be going to do the process flow sheeting and for an example we will be using or simulating ammonia production in Aspen Plus. So as you can see the process initiates with the compressor, then mixer, heater, reactor, cooler, flash separator and the recycle loop which includes the split and compressor. So feed is initially fed to the compressor and then is initially heated to a certain temperature and then is sent to the reactor where reaction takes place. For this system, like in a shortcut way, we will use stichometric reactor instead of heat exchanger, we will be using heater. And as we have already discussed that the same block is used for heating and the same block is used for the cooling purposes. And followed by the flash, the liquid ammonia is obtained from this point which is the bottom of the flash separator while the top product is partially purged which is 0 0.05 which we have taken in this case study while the rest of the thing or majority of the portion is recycled back and obviously we know that recycling increases the efficiency of the process avoid waste and so on so this overall process will be simulated using Aspen plus and this is another part of our process flow sheeting system so initially feed conditions are given temperature of 250 degrees centigrade, pressure of 25 bar, molar flow rate of 1000 kg mole per hour and molar composition which includes these components argon, CO, methane, hydrogen, nitrogen and ammonia. Specification of compressor number 1 is given as pressure of 280 bar. For heater the specification given as temperature of 500 degrees centigrade and pressure drop of 0.1 bar. For reactors, for the specifications as we have known that there are two interfaces in the reactor which is the stichometric reactor in our case so the duty will be zero calories per second the pressure drop is 0.1 bar as we know that this reaction is exothermic in nature so obviously we do not need to give any duty instead the lot of duty will be generated from the system so 60 percent conversion of nitrogen reaction is nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen to form two moles of ammonia for cooler specification the outlet temperature is 35 degrees centigrade, the pressure drop of 0.1 bar and for separator specification duty of 0 Kelvin pressure drop of 0.1 bar. So this system till now till the separator if I take you back here if we ignore this upper portion and if we simply go in a linear way then this system is completely like here to flash P1 and flash P2 but obviously once we need to recycle back so obviously we need to define the split fraction of this splitter and outlet pressure of this compressor too. So what we need to do split fraction per stream 0 0.05, the cycle stream 0 0.95 and for compressor 2 specification pressure is 280 bar. So how we will go first we will add the components in the component list of Aspen Plus then we will select a suitable property package and first we will draw this flow sheet diagram in Aspen Plus and we will then give parameters one by one. First we will draw it without recycle and then we will draw it with recycle in the system. So as you can see the components argon, CO, CH4, H2, N2 and NH3 are added in the system. Click on next. Frank Robinson property package is selected for the system. Click on next and click on run. These are the binary interaction parameters of all the components which are available in the system. Once the results are available we can easily switch to the simulation environment. So as we can see first for a better representation I will go to this view grid and scale to ensure that the flow sheet is prepared in a better way and a representable way. So first we need to go to this pressure changer we will select compressor and we will place it over here and we will do the connections of it like this one is F1 and this one is F2. We can always change the nomenclature it's up to our requirement. Then we can simply name it as comp1. This one is comp1 in. Obviously, different nomenclature is there comp1 out. So we can go either way, or we can simply say it as comp1p and that one as comp1f. This is defined in the slides as well. Then we need to install a mixer over here. Obviously, the mixer will be of better use when we need to recycle. Or we need to add the recycle stream otherwise a single system will be enough for this so we will name it as a mixer then we will install a 
heater block here like some word about here and we will label it as heater and we can simply place this name a bit so obviously this grid can also be varied like this like 0.5 like 0.2 make it more thinner and thinner but 0.5 is a good estimate to go with connecting mixer with the heater and we can see it as mix e mixer product or mixer outlet then from this heater the feed will go to the reactor so we can simply say it like here and heat e we can see it and we can simply drag a name a bit then we will install a reactor over here which is the stoichiometric reactor in this case and we can label it as reactor and we can drag the name over here and we can simply select it we can click on align blocks and we can make it alignment as well and from the outlet of the reactor there is again a heater block installed but that will serve the purpose of cooler in the system so it is connected like this react p reactor product we can right click on it and align the block so the block is aligned in the direction as well we can label it as cooler so the basic purpose of showing all this portion is because that is previously not covered in any of our video so this video basically will teach you two things number one process flow sheeting and number two art of preparing a flow sheet in the system so this one is the flash separator we can simply label it as flash and this one is connected here bit we can align it and we can reroute it as well similarly we can align it and reroute as well and the final product outlets are this one which is flash e1 and flash p2 we will now install flash p2 in the system in the same direction and obviously as you can see this one is a bit left cool so this is how a scheme is drawn in the system and if we click here as you can see the overall diagram has been placed so now simply we have to enter the specifications it won't take more than five minutes in the system but obviously i will quickly go through it here so coming back the feed is added in the system 250 degrees centigrade 25 bar 1000 kg mole per hour and the composition which was given in the slides 0.00354 for argon 0.0033 for co 0.0105 for methane 0.7365 hydrogen and 0.2462 nitrogen is added in the system then the compressor specification was 280 bar outlet pressure which has been specified as well for mixer degree of freedom is already zero we do not need to specify anything for heater block 500 degrees centigrade and 0.1 bar pressure drop so we could either say 280 minus 0.1 is equal to 279.9 but the better way is to make it an automated like if a mixer stream or, or a recycle stream is added to the mixer then what will happen the pressure might change so obviously ensure that the parameters are not changed it's better to give minus 0.1 in the pressure tab it will automatically adjust the things similarly in the reactor system which is currently incomplete to show you that reaction need to be added as well so pressure and duty unspecified duty is equal to zero pressure is equal to minus 0.1 bar and in reactions tab click on new and nitrogen reacts with hydrogen one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen which is minus one it is minus three and this one is ammonia which is two in the system and that is 0.6 of nitrogen in the system the fractional conversion is points 0.6 obviously fractional conversion you cannot enter the value above one it will remain between zero to one and for cooler system again 35 degrees centigrade and a pressure drop of 0.1 bar and for flash separator it is a pressure drop of 0.1 bar and duty of zero calories per second so once after specifying all these we have to simply click on run so we will run it and we will get all our required results in the system so now the results are available obviously you can see the compressor duty over here the reactor heat of reaction and so on but again we have discussed it in long uh, in previous videos as well in our previous videos of flow sheeting so we will 
now what we will do we will simply install a split here a split block which is b7 currently labeled as and what we need to do basically flow sheeting rotate icon rotate left again rotate left double click on it and connect it and now we need to install two streams from here number one is the actual stream which will be going back as recycle and number two is the purge stream in the system so we can call it as purge and we can call it as recycle so split p and we can specify it as well that the purge stream is 0 0.05 split fraction in the system but obviously before recycling we know that a compressor is installed here so obviously we need to install another compressor here before recycling to ensure that pressure is not dropped in the system or there is no adjustment in the pressure required so pump two and we can simply rotate icon and flip horizontal so once we flip horizontal what will happen that will come over here and we can simply connect this one to here as well we can say pump p2p and we can connect it as well and obviously connection is up to us we can either connect it over here align it as well and then give the outlet pressure of it as well isentropic discharge pressure is 280 bar as well so as you can see once all the information is given in the system it is okay as well some of these are unaligned as well as you can see for the system so what we need to do as well here as you can see now these all are aligned in the system looks like so what we need to do we can go here at modify and we can lock this flow sheet as well now no one can change your flow sheet in the system and you cannot also change your flow sheet until you will unlock it so it's another good way that once you are in the middle of work and you have to go somewhere else you simply click on this lock flow sheet so that there is no structural changes in the system but obviously if you click on it and if you want to change here obviously it can be changed as well so now all these parameters are given in the system what we need to do we need to simply run it so we will click on run and once after running the results are obviously available without error which shows that this recycle portion or the tier stream has been converged successfully and we can simply go to this result summary and in convergence we can see that in tier summary which is comp 2 ch form flow rate the absolute error and the maximum relative error is very very small so it has been converged as well and we want to see the composition of ammonia which has been obtained from the system so if we go to the small fraction we can see 95.17 percent ammonia is produced in the system while the fractional conversion was 60 percent so obviously once you increase the fractional conversion this value is increased as well and as once it increase and if you are doing a plant design project on it or some project on it you can simply simulate it here as well so that's it from this lecture thank you so much uh, i'm sorry i was not uploading the lectures due to some issues but hopefully i will now keep on uploading lectures regularly thank you so much please do subscribe the channel like the video share the video and click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel Thank you so much.